Okay, so let's solve the problem. So the first step is to find the poles of the integrand. So we say, in this case, here, the integrand is f of z given by four minus three z over z into z minus one z minus two which implies that the first thing to find the poles we take the denominator of the integrand and we equate to zero i.e z into z minus one z minus two equals to zero which implies z equals to zero z equals to one and z equals to two are simple poles. Simple poles because each of these linear terms has a power one. Now immediately you find the poles you should sketch the curve specified in the problem to know whether you are going to work out the integral using all the poles or some of the poles or simply saying that the integral is zero in the case where all the poles lies outside the curve C. So this means is a circle, center is origin, radius is three over two or simply 1.5. So let's sketch. So this is the imaginary axis. This is the real axis zero so we have been told that so this is 0 0.5 so expect this to be minus 0 0.5 this negative uh, this positive 1.5 i this is negative 1.5 i so say one is here two is here three say i is here negative i is here negative one negative two so our interest is to locate these pole, three poles we have identified. So this is Z1, Z2, Z3. So you see Z1 is okay. Z2 is also within. But Z3, this is outside the circle of radius 1.5 centered at the origin. So therefore only poles we consider to find the integral are Z1 and Z2. So of the three poles, only Z1 equals to zero and Z2 equals to one lie within circle C, which is a circle centered at the origin with the radius 1.5. So they are the points that will help us to find the integral. So for Z1 equals to zero, so we have the integral along C. Our function is four minus three Z over Z into Z minus one z minus two dz. Now, when you say z1 equals to zero, so it means that our a is zero. In the general Cauchy integral formula, and we expect the denominator to only have z. So, 
we have to remove this term z minus one, z minus two by simply dividing both the numerator and denominator by those two terms or those two expressions. So that now the integral is of this form f of z over z minus a dz is equal to two pi i f of a. This is a formula one to use. So this is the only part we expect to have in the denominator. So this will be integral along c. So we'll have four minus three z divided by z minus one, z minus two, and then z alone can be written as z minus zero dz. And so once you have done that transformation, uh, this implies that our a is zero, our f of z now becomes this new numerator. So just let this to the general Cauchy integral formula, which would be four minus three z over z minus one, z minus two, which implies that f at zero, the same as f of a is four minus three times zero over z minus zero over z, uh, zero minus one, zero minus two. So this will be four over two. So just give us two. Then, so integral of four minus three z for this particular pole, uh, z into z minus one, z minus two, dz is two pi i times f at zero, which will be given by two pi. So we just say this implies i times two so gives us four pi i so that is what we get for the first case of z equals to zero and then z equals to one so we have the integral for uh, Four minus three z over z minus one z minus two dz. So to get z equals to one, you expect to have this to be only term in the denominator. So we have to divide each numerator and denominator by z times z minus two. So the same as integral along c four minus three z, we divide by z into z minus two over, so let's call this one i one, z minus one dz. So uh, this means that a is one, f of z is now this new numerator. So this will be four minus three Z over Z into Z minus two. So which implies F at one will be four minus three times one over one into one minus two. Four minus three is one. One times minus one is minus one. So one divided by minus one is minus one. So therefore, for this particular 
fall integral along c of 4 minus 3z over z into z minus 1, z minus 2, dz is given by 2 pi i f of 1, which is 2 pi i times negative 1, which is negative 2 pi i. So call this one i2. Hence, the integral 4 minus 3z, z into z minus 1, z minus 2, dz will now be given by i1 plus i2, which will be 4 pi i plus minus 2 pi i. This will give us pi i as our solution. So that is the answer to our given problem in the question. Thank you.